Yo, what's good? Time we figure out what I'm watching for summer 2021's anime season. Look at review. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And the YouTuber things like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And if you want to check out any of my reactions for spring 2021, you can click this link right up here. And as always, links in the description below. And just to get a heads up on the summer 2021 season, if you want to check out any of the anime carried over from spring into summer or any of the new series that I'm reacting to in summer 2021, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those summer 2021 anime episode reactions. That was a mouthful. And as always, link in the description. So today I figure why not check out all the different anime that is coming out in summer 2021. We will be using livechart.me in order to figure out uh, what anime are coming out. By the way, we're actually going to set this to not have the ones going that like roll over from spring. And if you're wondering the ones that I am watching that roll over, Tokyo Revengers, Obvi, love that. I will be watching Fumetsu no Inata A. I've never seen One Piece, by the way. I'm gonna let y'all know that. Well, that's not true. I watched like 70 episodes of One Piece, but I haven't seen anything after like episode 70 something. I will also be watching more uh, My Hero, though admittedly, I think the first all episodes of this season that have been, <laughs> and have aired, have been pretty doo-doo. I think that it's like a six overall. Not a good season. Yeah, it, it, I'm just tired of the same old, same old bullshit. And I stopped watching Boruto like, in 2019 so these are the anime that are actually airing in summer 2021 now obviously the first one most popular tensura season two part two i think we could just skip that yes i will be watching that currently i am uh editing together all of the episodes from uh season two part one and pretty much putting them together as pairs and then having diana upload those in um pairs hopefully by the time that this season airs which actually yeah i'll definitely get it done by the time the season airs i will have all of the episodes from season two part one uploaded i don't have to really go into it uh tensura is a very fun anime i enjoy it a lot next we've got this kobayashi san uh this is the can i yo can i switch it to english titles oh oh i can okay yeah, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, I'm not going to be watching that. I never watched the first one. Maybe I should watch the first one, but I'm just at this point. Eh. Next, we've got my next life as a villainess. Um, the Otomo, uh, Otome game, whatever. I actually watched the first season when it aired. I, I watched every episode as they aired and it was very mediocre to me and not really my type of anime. I think that everything that happened was super predictable. I think that the characters all being obsessed with the main character is it's just a harem, dude. Like I've seen plenty of harem anime and it's just, yeah, I don't I don't really care about it, you know? So I'm not going to be watching the second season unless it's that popular and you all think I should react to it. I don't know. I guess that'll be up to you all uh, to decide whether I do or do not watch that one. But again, I wasn't a big fan. Next, how a realist hero rebuilt the the kingdom that's jc staff i could definitely see myself watching this one when kazuya is unexpectedly transported to another world he knows the people expect a hero but soma's idea of heroism is more practical than most he wants to rebuild the flagging economy of the new land he's found himself in betrothed to the princess and abruptly planted on the throne this realist hero must gather talented people to help him get the country back on its feet, not through war. I love that. I'm gonna watch that actually. That sounds kind of interesting. It, it it brings together that idea of the economy and world building that Log Horizon does as an uh, as an isekai, and I actually really do enjoy Log Horizon. It's nice to break away from the standard person gets transported to this world. They're OP as fuck. They have to beat everybody and they beat everyone easily. And that's literally the entire series. So um, yeah, I'm actually gonna check this one out. Sounds pretty interesting. Next we've got, I'm standing on a million lives season two. Not gonna be watching that. That's another one that I did watch the, I tried to watch the first season. Let me 
Dial that back. I did not watch the entire first season. I think I watched the first three-ish episodes and I don't think anything really stood out to me to make me want to watch it. He, I think he starts off as like a farmer or something and he has to like grow. And I think as long as one of them is alive, they all can respawn. That's basically the gist of what I got. I'm sure there was something deeper, but honestly, it was very forgettable. It was just not that great. So I will not be watching the second season. Next, we've got The Honor at Magic High School. Okay, another magic high school thing. What's this one? Big Brother, this time Miyuki is the star of the show. Hmm. Magic. It has been nearly a century since magic came to be recognized as a real form of technology. Magicians who wield magic power receive their training at an institution called Magic High School. Oh my god, Magic High Schools. You, you gotta love it, dude. This spring, a young woman named Miyuki begins her term at the high school where young and talented magicians hone their skills every day. Yuki is an honor student possessing both impeccable beauty and intellect. She dreamed of enjoying her school life with her beloved older brother, but soon discovers that the rift between the academically gifted course one students and the inferior course two students is quite an impediment to that hope. This magic, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wait, hey, yo, is this, does this have something to do with that one magic high school anime? Cause they kind of look like the type of wardrobes that they wear. Am I wrong about that or is, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Along with her older brother, Tatsuya. Oh, this is, so this is in that same irregular magic high school universe, right? Oh, yeah, I've never watched that series. So probably not going to be watching this. All right. But yeah, I've never watched the irregular magic, ma magic high school. So I'm not going to be watching that. Sire Gensoki, Spirit Chronicles. TMS, okay. Meet Ryo, a callous orphan boy living in the slums. At only seven years old, he realizes he's actually the reincarnation. I like it when a character has been living in this world for a while before they realize that they're in it. That's the one thing I did like about the Otoma game is that she realizes at some point like, oh shit, I got reincarnated into this world. I didn't even realize that. That was pretty cool. Uh, so it looks like the same sort of thing is happening here with this anime. It's actually the reincarnation of Haruto, a Japanese university student with a tragic past. Of course, he died. While still reeling from this shocking epiphany, Ryo also comes to learn that he possesses extremely potent magical abilities and uses his new powers to solve the kidnapping case of a little girl. His good deed is acknowledged and he's rewarded by being enrolled into a prestigious... Hmm. I think y'all are gonna have to tell me whether I am watching this or not. It doesn't sound horrible to me, but at the same time, I have a feeling it's just gonna be more of the same isekai stuff. So you all tell me down in the comments, should I check the series out or you guys just don't really care that much about it. Next, we've got Suki Michi. Moonlit Fantasy. Um, is this a first season? I hope so. Makoto, just an ordinary high school student, when he, due to certain circumstances, parents were facing, gets summoned to other worlds to become a hero. Okay, yeah. He goes the other route, not the I died and became a hero, but the I got summoned in this world and became a hero sort of route. The goddess of the other world, however, insults him for his ugly face and strips his hero title before casting him to the wilderness at the edge of the world as he wanders the wilderness. Makoto encounters dragons, spiders, orcs, dwarves, and all sorts of non-human tribes because Makoto comes from a different world. Okay, so it doesn't feel like there's a deeper story to it. It feels like it's one of those, you gotta fall in love with the characters, otherwise it doesn't, it's just not gonna be that great to you sort of things. So this is gonna be another one. I need y'all to tell me down in the comments, is this one that I should be checking out or do you not really care? Next, we've got Girlfriend, Girlfriend, okay. First year in high school, asks out Saki, a girl he... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is about a dude. He's currently on cloud nine, but then a beautiful girl named Nagisa. Oh, shit. Okay, so he asks out this girl that he's always liked, and then this beautiful girl shows up one day and tells him she wants to go out with him. Oh, shit. Now he feels himself wavering because, because Nagisa is such a good girl and he comes to a decision, a new kind of rom-com. This man about to have a harem. What is this? Girlfriend, girlfriend. Okay, I might have to watch this. You know, I love my rom-coms. Okay, listen. So I think for this one, I will give it a shot. I will check it out, see if I do enjoy it. And if I don't, then I'll drop it. But I think this is one that I will watch because... And y'all know I love rom-coms. So yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Drugstore in another world. Okay, interesting. Corporate drone Reiji is transported to a fantasy world. By the way, this text, I mean, I know y'all can see how like 
tiny this text is. Can I zoom in on this? Cause damn, this shit is fucking tiny. I, I, it is so hard to read all this. I feel like a fucking idiot. I've been sitting here squinting my ass off. Can't see a damn thing. Okay, so drugstore thing. Let's see. Uh, corporate drone Reiji is transported to the fantasy world where he discovers that he can craft potions at a higher level. That's another thing that happens in a lot of isekai. Besides just being OP, there's a lot of like crafting potions things. And of course he makes them at a higher rank. So he has like a higher potency with his potions. Taking advantage of this, he makes a tidy profit enough to open his own drugstore in Elf who can't aim his bow. Oh, I might check this one out too. This doesn't sound horrible. And it's a comedy. Comedy isekai. Hmm. I, I might check this one out too. Okay. With that being said, We've, we've just, we, that's two more that I am interested in. And that's going to definitely make it so I'm not gonna check this one out for sure. I'm not gonna check this out. This one, maybe, unless this is supposed to be like super funny because it says comedy here, it could be. So if it is super funny, then, um, you know, if you're like a novel reader, let me know. Uh, so far we've got one, two, and then two maybes. Two yeses, two maybes, and then another two yeses. I think I'm gonna check both of these out. They sound pretty interesting to me. The detective is already dead. Interesting. Okay. When the story begins without its hero, Kimihiko uh, Kimizuka has always been a magnet for trouble and intrigue for as long as he can remember. So that's this guy. He's been stumbling across murder scenes when he met Siesta, a brilliant detective fighting a secret war against the organization of pseudo humans. He couldn't resist the call. Why is that also another thing? Secret like organizations fighting against like non people. I bet they're like going against like, like yokai. I don't know. Something like that. Hey, I'm gonna need your opinion on this one too. I don't know if I, this is another maybe for me. I, I think that it also looks kind of interesting. It's not enough for me to say yes, but it is enough for me to say, hmm. Next, we've got Remake Our Life, which is a straight up comedy. I do love comedy. 28 year old game developer with his company going bankrupt and him losing his job, he returns to his hometown, looking at the success of a creator his age, he finds himself regretting his life decisions as he lay distressed and on his bed. But when he opens his eyes, he finds he traveled 10 years back in time. <laughs> themes, there are like very common themes here. Before he enter college, will he finally make things right? Okay, I'm checking this one out. I, I wanna check this one out, Remake our life. This one sounds interesting to me. So this is another confirmed. I think that so far, I'm not absolutely sold on the drugstore one. I am definitely sold on the realist hero, Tensura, obviously. And I am also sold on Girlfriend, Girlfriend and Remake Our Life. So that's four right now. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I don't wanna go past like seven. Seven's like my max, okay? And also, let me know which ones you all are actually interested in watching reactions for because some of these might not make the reaction cut. Like I said, I'm gonna be watching the Wonder Egg special, so moving on. Dungeon of Black Company. This is, I think, one that I did wanna watch. Kinji, who lacks any kind of work ethic, is a layabout in his modern life. One day, he finds himself transported to another world but not in a grand fantasy of a hero welcomed with open arms. He's immediately shoved into a terrible job, now enslaved by an evil mining corp company in a fantasy world, Kenji's about to really learn the meanings of hard work. Yeah, I'll check that out. I'll check that out. That sounds pretty interesting. I don't know if it'll be something to react to, but it will be something I check out. The great Jahi will not be defeated. The Dark Realm's second in command cuts a frightening deal feared and re revered by all, but when a run-in with a magical girl results in the destruction of the precious monocrystal, the Dark Realm falls, transporting the, the newly puny and powerless Jahi to the human world. Unfortunately, plotting the revival of the Dark Realm from a cramped, crumbling one-room apartment is no easy feat when you have to pay rent and keep a job. And who is the Jai person? Is that Jai? Is this Jai? Like, I don't... I'll probably check it out. It looks cute. Is this one I should be reacting to? I think it's one that I will watch. Mother of the Goddesses Dormitory. 12-year-old boy abandoned by his father after their house caught on fire, leaving him to roam the streets penniless. Then one day, a girl named Minerva finds him laying on the sidewalk, takes him to a college dormitory. I don't know. It's etchy, ah, etchy harem. I feel like y'all would really be fucking with it. <laughs> if you guys really want me to check this one out, then uh, let me know. But right now, eh, it doesn't really make the cut for me. Peach Boy Riverside. Princess of the kingdom, dreams traveling the world, a dangerous dream in a land where monsters roam the countryside as they please and humans live behind high strong walls. But when a chance meeting a traveler, Mikoto gives hope to her dream, he shatters it soon after as he reveals himself to be none other than Momotaro, ruthless demon slayer. Though horrified by the gore, Momotaro leaves behind Saltharine, 
it's a weird name, is convinced more than ever that she needs to learn about the worlds behind her. Okay. Yeah, I think this is one that I am actually gonna check out too. So hopefully it's good. Uh, that makes like five that I'm definitely checking out. The Duke of Death and his maid. Cursed by a witch as a child, a young Duke kills every living thing he touches. Shunned by the people around him, he's forced to live in solitude in a mansion deep within the forest. Alice serves as the Duke's maid and her existence seems to be the cause of many worries for the young man because Alice makes a point to sexually harass the Duke every day. Hmm. The Duke is unable to touch her regardless of his romantic feelings. I guess I'm leaving it up to y'all for this one. That's one I wouldn't really check out, but if that's one you think I should, then let me know. Scarlet Nexus. Uh, how? I don't even know all these. It's based on a game. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna skip over this. I don't think I'm gonna watch this, but obviously if you all tell me it's a must, then, you know, it's a must. I also don't know about this one. This one doesn't really look like something I would be interested in either. So I don't think I'm gonna check out Battle Game either. Next, we've got The Case Study of Vanitas. This is a tale of empires. Ooh, bones. Hmm, maybe. On the brink of extinction, 19th century France where humans and vampires coexist, young vampire Noé, is traveling to Paris in search of a book of Vanitas, a book said to be capable of unleashing a curse upon all vampires on an airship towards Paris. Paris. He finds himself embroiled in a strange incident amidst the chaos. Human doctor who claimed to be a vampire expert appears. He has a very book. Oh, wow. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. This kind of looks interesting. This kind of looks interesting. I want a mix of like comedy and serious, you know? When mankind was on the verge of extinction, the gods suddenly appeared. 800 years have passed since Ida Ten. The god of war who made a sudden appearance sealed off the demons. Time passed, the demons resurrected once again in front of Ida Ten, who were born in an era of peace and had never experienced a battle. The battle of the survival gods, humans, and demons alike begins now. I mean, listen, dude, Mappa, that's good enough for me. I'll probably check this one out just because I see Mappa. I'm like, okay. And this one, same thing, Madhouse, I'll probably check it out. Just because I see Madhouse, I think that that's good enough for me. Also, sci-fi superpower, that sounds kind of sick. Yes, please. I will be checking out Sunny Boy. I did not watch the previous season of Higarashi, so maybe I should wait on that. Why is dementia a theme here? What? How is that like a, an actual like genre? Hey, anybody wanna watch a dementia genre? The fuck? Next, the Aquatope on White Sand. I think I actually looked at like the uh, synopsis for this. I think this one looked interesting to me. This is not the synopsis that I got though. So this actually might end up being a maybe for me. But the in the synopsis that I saw for this was like a, like a murder mystery sort of synopsis. Hmm. Fena, pirate princess. It's an original, interesting. Remembers little about her childhood, orphaned and raised as a servant in a brothel. Whoa, her life changes when she escapes to an island of pirates where she discovers the truth behind her family, with Fena being the only one able to unlock her family's secrets and a formidable crew of female pirates on her tail, she must take her place as captain of the samurai crew for a high seas adventure. I'm not a fan of the mixing of jo like Yasuke, right? That shit was trash. I watched the first episode and I was like, okay, this is I, but like, it literally starts off with fucking robots in the, like the samurai era, right? And there's magic, it's magic robots and samurais. It's like, are you just trying to hit all the demographics or something? Like, what's your goal there? And this one looks like it's pirates and samurais. I don't know, man, some shit just doesn't work. I mean, this is probably one of those things that I'll probably watch like an episode, two episodes, three episodes. And if it just doesn't resonate with me, I'm not going to watch it. Monaco Magica? Side story? Oh, cool. I've never actually seen uh, Madoka Magica, so this is probably something I want to wait on. Nighthead 2041. Story follows this person. Yeah, some brothers. Her young age. Oh, wait. Bro, this looks like some CG. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to check this out. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. We're already like pushing towards the end of the list. Eh. Decide. Mixed. Media Mix Project? Probably not checking this one out either. I don't even feel like reading it. Remain, Mappa, so maybe it's worth it. Former competitive water polo player whose life was changed by an incident during his third year of middle school. Now in high school, finds the courage to jump back in the pool. And Okay, so this is a sports anime, but it's an original. So it's not based on a manga, which means whoever wrote it had to get this shit done well. And it's about water polo. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I don't think I'm watching it. Maybe, but maybe not. Love Live Superstar. S music school slice of life. Nah, nah, 
Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. <laughs> This looks like a kid's show, bro. Comedy slice of life. Children's TV host. Okay. Adulthood sucks. Yeah, sounds about right. Alongside mascots played by a couple of bushy tailed millennials and a singing duo whose music embodies a note. I might actually watch this because <laughs> kind of sounds funny, dude. Ways to the misery of working life. One sar sardonic comment at a time. I might actually check this out. Not gonna lie. This actually sounds kind of funny. So I might actually check this one out. See what else we got here. Kageki Shoujo. A shoujo, I don't know if I'm a big fan of shoujos. You know, I wasn't like a big fan of, um, and what's that one thing? Oh, Sailor Moon. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that. Megaton Musashi, not gonna check that out. I'll be honest about that. Like I can tell right now, it's just, I'm not gonna be a fan of the animation. Cinderella 9, is this baseball or softball? Yeah, I, I don't do softball or baseball. That's not me. Um, just not a baseball. Like, I've never watched Ace of Diamond just for that same reason. Like, I'm just not a baseball person. Idolish uh, or Idolish, whatever the hell it's pronounced. Yeah, not going to be watching that. Suki Pro, not going to be watching that. I'm not going to be watching anything else here, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's recap the stuff that I actually am interested in. We've got... One, I will be checking this one out. Here, let me do this actually. So that's one, not checking out, not checking out. I will probably be checking this one out. Not checking out, not checking out. Maybe, also maybe. So we'll go with this one, this one, this one, this one. Damn dude, this is already looking like way too much. This one, this one, shit. I made a mistake. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I think that's everything. I'm not sure about this one. Um, okay. Yeah. So I just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I am not watching 15 anime next season. So some of these are definitely getting cut. Now, um, I will probably react to about five to seven of these anime, okay? So it'll be up to y'all to decide which ones I'm reacting to. Now, I am reacting to this one, obviously. No brainer. I am also probably reacting to this one, another no brainer. Then we get into stuff that I'm not sure about. Not sure here, not sure here. I am watching this one for sure. I will react to this. Not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure. Probably reacting to this. Maybe, 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 maybe. I think this one I might actually react to no matter what. It just looks really interesting. I don't know, something about it just gives me that vibe, you know? I love that vibe. The ones that I am definitely reacting to, I can say for sure, are Tensuda, Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom, Girlfriend Girlfriend, Detective is Already Dead, and then from there, I'm a little bit less certain. So that's four, and the most I'm gonna do is seven. Okay, so we've got three slots to fill. It'll be up to all of you. Am I gonna check out Remake Our Life, Jahi-sama, or The Great Jahi, whatever you wanna call it, Vanitas no Carte, Sunny Boy, or um, Iraten Deities in the Peaceful Generation. Those are ones that I am sort of debating whether I will be reacting to them or not. And I think that the days that these come out are also gonna play a vital role in whether I do or do not do reactions for them. But I think that overall there's 15 anime here and I will watch the first three episodes of all 15 of them. And from there decide which ones I will continue with and which ones I will be dropping. So from here, what are your top five anime that you want uh, me to check out for reactions? Uh, you can just go in order of your most favorite to least favorite. I've got nothing against pinkies. It just happened to be on the further side for me. Okay, I could go. Most favorite to least favorite, okay? So with you all telling me what your top five are, it'll help me decide which ones I'll be doing reactions for. Now, like I said, Tensuda, Realist Hero, Girlfriend Girlfriend, The Detective is Already Dead are four that I will definitely be checking out. I have three slots open left to decide which ones I'll be watching. This season, I watched five, six on Saturdays. I ended up dropping one. One on Sunday, one on Monday. I picked up a second one on Monday, one on Tuesday, and one on Friday. I was reacting to 10 different anime. Actually, it was more like 11, 12. I reacted to 13, maybe 14 different anime for this anime season. I dropped like four of them as far as doing the reactions. I finished, I actually finished some of them. Higehiro, I'm caught up on that. Osamake, weird, that one, caught up on that. I'm just finishing it. 
It's not one of those things that I'm super excited about every week. And there's some others that I am also watching that I didn't do reactions for, like Megalobox and Omnipotent Saint Power, that one, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'm watching a bunch of anime that I'm not necessarily doing reactions for. So like I said, there's 15 anime here that I will probably end up checking out. Whatever makes it past that dropping point will be the ones that I continue to watch. And whichever you all say is the most popular amongst yourselves, those will be the ones that I do reactions for. So like I said, leave a comment down below with your top five, and that'll help me decide which ones I want to do reactions for. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that's sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.